What's up and good evening guys. Welcome back to another video. We've got an all-star cast today. Our man back there somewhere. I can't really, oh wait, over, over there. Our man Chris over there. On top of Chris, we've got our good buddy Gunner. What's up Gunner? Welcome, glad you can make it today. But just wait. Well, all right, he was out here a second ago. Now we gotta go chase him down. I see one of them right there. He's trying to steal the comet. I mean, you are small enough to fit in there and nobody would know. You comfy, buddy? I think you're about the only person that would fit back there. There's not a whole lot of leg room. I think uh, we need one. Right? If I found us a wagon, could we have a work for a wagon? Yeah, we'll get a work for a wagon. Dude. Can we lift it? Yeah. All right. Work for a wagon. Get a, get a full size Chevy wagon, like a 60 something. Ooh. We all gotta wear flannels though and Two only and button a half the top. Ton, or we could leave it stock and just drive it. We could also do that. Can we jump it? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Let's see if Chris fits. So, Levy. Hi. Yeah, get cozy. Oh, yeah, dude. You're good, bro. The cool thing is, if they hit anything, we'll be driving. You ready to go to, you ready to, go to church? Right. Yeah, the no headrest is kind of weird. Oh, yeah, that, whoa. That's what it's for. I mean, let's just. Uh, oh, yeah. I could get used to this. Oh, you don't have one. You're going to have to come out all the way over here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't open it from the outside. Just let him, let him scooch all the way over. Oh. I can't move, man. You almost fit. Oh, I'm stuck. So, I legitimately don't know where our last special guest is. I saw him a minute ago, and he disappeared. Maybe he's on the other side of the roll-up door. No, he ain't out here. Well, Gunner's real excited. Chris, are you up here, buddy? I don't even want to know. <laughs> we'll get some, uh... <laughs> Whoa. I've what been you... waiting. <laughs> right now. I don't doubt that. What's up, Dave? Oh, you know. Long time oh, no see, oh, man. You've been up here the whole time? Glad to be seen, Past man. couple I've months? Been, well, I've been waiting, you know? Jeez. I've been waiting. Well, Jeez. I'm glad Jeez. to see you, you made our couch at your home, you know? I will say that. Not uh, looking too bad for being homeless. That's a terrific upgrade. Well, I got a gym membership, so I shower, oh, shower at the gym, yeah. And then, uh, you know, it's like been working on the karate, so I kicked the out of like a 14 year old and then I got, you know, <laughs> took his jacket. <laughs> hey, whatever works, whatever works. Well, welcome, man. I'm glad we could, uh, you know, did you, did the microwave uh, burritos in the, in the freezer, are, are they good for you or? You know, I haven't even seen the freezer yet. I figured we got, uh, we got a lot of work to do, so we better get that going. We Whoa. get the Komei out of the way. Well, I, I was told I don't even need hey, to move. When, was that a gym Komei? FBI Ladies and gentlemen, FBI Dave FBI. is back. What's wrong? There's a Kome in the way. I thought it's a Comet. A Jim Kome. Oh, Kome. Yeah. Uh, Zach says we don't it's need right. to move the Kome. Oh, good. <laughs> keys in the uh, the keys in the cart. Oh no, you gotta push that. Yeah, the cart. Yeah, batteries are dead. Well, we successfully got the shop cleared out. Now we need uh, something to do. Oh, uh, let's see. You want to build a ramp? Oh, I already got that. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh. Yeah, it needs it needs a little air. So you mean the cart needs battery, the water in the thing, the basketball needs air. Dave, this place is falling apart since you've left, bro. I mean, upgrade on the couch though. Yeah, we did get a nicer couch. <laughs> <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> Dave, watch out! There's a cool mom whoa, coming. Whoa. How many? <laughs> no, I totally thought you were gonna be a lot hotter when I was. You're one cool mom. Bring her on in. <laughs> well, that didn't take long, did it? <laughs> I'm not sure who this is. <laughs> Max, oh my goodness. Now, I, I, know you're, I know you're going for Trump, but I'm getting more like Billy Bob that works at the service station with the buck teeth. Going for Trump? What's that? Well, Billy, uh, what are we doing to the super sick Highlander today? Are we, are we lifting it? Thought I'd been washing my car without letting my brake rotors cool down like Preston told me. And you know what? He's right. It warped him again. <laughs> I just can't take you seriously. <laughs> I can't take you seriously. Yeah, so, so Dave's been running into issues with rotors on his wife's car. Well, let me Let's address it. Me. I'll let you address it. All right, all right, all right. 
So I break my car in because I got the squeaky brakes. It doesn't so exist I no more, so I don't think the Yelp would use it. My crooked ass driveway that sits on a cliff <laughs> like this, I'll take it to Preston's, you know, and have them replace the brakes. And hey, while I'm here, change the oil. So then they come back with the estimate. That would be a million and two dollars. Well, how come? Well, the rotors, you know, are 400 bucks or what, whatever they say they are, yeah. right? So now, I was 19 once when they pulled this thing on me with the rotors when I had a Range Rover, all right? Oh. You had a Range when you were 19? Yeah. Damn! Uh, you do come and from so money, huh? My vehicle was actually a Mercedes. It may or may not have been a 1969, but it was still a Mercedes. <laughs> And so I forget exactly how much brake rotors were. I learned then that maybe you didn't need to replace the rotors. So at Preston's, I voiced my concern. Like, hey, do we really need to replace these rotors? I raised the question to Preston's. This is one of my first times there, and I'm there because Rhino speaks so highly of them. They're like, you want us to show you the rotors? And I was like, yeah, I've been like robbed blind when I was 19. I'm like, yeah, show me show me the rotors and why they need it and he got upset because i was calling him on this rotor sham that he's doing so i go and look you know and he is uh, he's visibly shaking because he thinks that i don't trust him which <laughs> in hindsight it's true <laughs> so that so okay in an effort to not embarrass rhino you know because now they're claiming that i'm cheap which i am that's Probably. my pezzo. Yeah, it's a yeah. fact. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. I'll pay the four, the 400 bucks for the rotors that I know it doesn't need. I get the rotors, pay for it. Everything's fine. About a, two, two weeks goes by. Hey, my rotors are warped. Every time I touch the brakes, it shakes violently. Like, it's dangerous. Like, it's basically doing what they warned me that not replacing my rotors would do. And I took it back, and to Preston's credit, he took care of it, no problem. Sure enough, they was warped, no problem. But a lot of people claim that there were other factors that made Preston stop being in business, but I have a feeling my rotors- Oh, you put them in? You put are them under? What, are what, like, he was like, dude, like until the USMCA is signed, I'm closing my door because the, the rotors, the rotors are warped again. All right, so two months they went, they're warped again. Mm -hmm. now, so oh yeah. Preston, <laughs> so Preston says, "Well, did you wash your car?" I was like, "Well, yeah, I did wash my car." He's like, "See, that's that's it. You got to wait for those brake rotors to cool down before you wash your car." Shows you what I know. I'm just a carpenter, you know. Oh, okay. So I don't know much about cars. I keep forgetting to let my car cool down. You know, in line at the car wash, I don't really see a whole lot of people letting their cars cool down. You know, just the other night, I was, uh, I played in the mud with my truck, and then I directly sprayed with the pressure washer my rotors, because they were covered in mud. They didn't warp. Well, where'd you get your rotors put on? I think Zach did take them off at some point and put them back on, so. Same place as you. Now, Zach, I'm not in the business like you are. I like to build the architecture, not the, not the motorized carriages. If this is the second time this has happened, <clears throat> under the same circumstances, do you think that there's uh, like, that maybe you could run an investigation? Hear, hear me out, hear me out. Wife's coming home from work, right? What? She's cruising, you know, wife's coming home from work, cruising 90, 95, 100 down to 65, 50, 30, freeway, you know, stop and go, heats the rotors up, shit ain't spinning, no air. They gets home and splashes the puddle at the driveway. I'm just totally fucking If anything, it's riding brakes. Hovering with your left foot or they're a bad, bad steal in the rotor. Within two months, you got the same batch of rotors. I told him the same story. USMCA. I told him. What don't story. you understand about USMCA? NAFTA, worst trade deal ever. There you go. Go sign some more trade deals for uh, us, buddy. Man, Jesus Christ. I'm doing my job. All right. Well, while Zach is getting the uh, Highlander torn apart, we're going to run to the uh, probably AutoZone or something and get some brake cleaner. Check this out, buddy. Wow. So I was at In-N-Out because we all know I'm a big fan of In-N-Out. Sorry, Whataburger. And the manager came out from behind, like rush hour at In and Out, which is crazy. I know Whataburger's rush hour is probably nothing. In and Out's is crazy. The manager came out of the back, was like, "Hey man, 
I recognize you. I see you here all the time. We really appreciate it, our loyal customers. He gave me a bumper sticker. I'm but... an in and out ruggler. <laughs> and he gave me a super sweet t-shirt that apparently they only give to exclusive loyal customers. Oh, look at regular. I mean, that's the first time I've ever been called regular in my life. <laughs> Maybe I don't like this. I, I, it's kind of a, it's kind of an honor, man. I wouldn't even bring, you know, like. I, All right, Dave. Are we gonna be in the chemical section? Well, dude. I mean, how do we know? Shouldn't we go tell them what year oh, Highlander what, it is? No, a brake cleaner to get. Yeah. Dave, you should work here, man. What happened to your Napa days? You know, I, that didn't work out too well. Did Eddie fire you? He's looking for brake cleaner, right? Yeah, that's almost brake cleaner. Yeah, that should work. We could try the brick clean. Oh, dude, is this all we need, dude? We're supposed to um, de squeak on your wheels and you'll be fine. Is this related to. Is Bruce related to this? What? Bruce Lean? And Brake Clean? And Brothers? Martial Arts? I'm just gonna take it. I almost missed you, Dave. Was it? Is it? 2013. Oh, okay. Well, we made it back. Zach's making great headway. He's uh, already got one side done. I think he's finishing up this side, right? Mm -hmm. Nice, quick, easy rotor job. Super simple. All right, how long before these warp? Uh, three days. Three days, all right, perfect. So we give him a two-day warranty, right? Tail light. Tail light? What? Tail light. Tail light warranty? Yeah. If we see your tail lights, it expires? Mm -hmm. Oh, all right, that works. So a lot of you guys have been asking for an update on the OBS and it's getting close. I know the mirrors got delivered today. Obviously, we're doing the uh, GM mirror conversion on the OBS. And I'll give you guys a little sneak peek here on my phone. So just a quick little sneak peek. Oh, if it'll focus. All right, it's all I can show you guys. It's done. But being that we were doing the mirror swap, I wanted to make sure that these mirrors actually worked. I bought the full functioning mirrors from Boost Auto, and I wanted to make sure like we could actually control them. So I didn't know if that was going to take like some type of aftermarket switch. I couldn't really find a universal mirror switch. So then I said, you know what? OBS Fords came with power mirrors. I mean, it was an option. So why don't we just go with like a factory setup? So I started acquiring parts. The biggest and most important one is obviously the uh, switch plate, which houses your window switches, your lock switch, and then the thing that I don't have in my truck, which is the uh, mirror switch, which goes right here. And then I bought uh, the switch, and then I bought a wire harness. And Zach assures me, I mean, he doesn't assure me, but he told me he thinks we can wire up the factory Ford switch to actuate or move the new style GM tow mirrors on the Ford. So I'm really excited to see if we can make that work because those being full functioning would be like game changer. The Ford's just gonna be an amazing truck. Well, Zach's all wrapped up. He's taking the Highlander on a test drive and let me show you guys something real quick. So if you guys remember when we first moved into this place and started like the podcast dude and all that, we've been running into issues with the oil man next door, the guy that makes essential oils. Well, I think our issues are gonna come to an end. Being that, uh, if you look on his front door over here. All right, we'll look at it from back here so I don't really show any address or anything on it, but that right there is a stop work order. Not only is it a stop work order, it says uh, your business application has, or your business license application has been denied. You've done unpermitted construction, unpermitted electrical, You've got 55 gallon drums of chemicals in there that need to get out and you must vacate the premises. Looks like the oil man's in a little bit of trouble. So the reason that's on there is the fire inspector has been going around to all of these buildings uh, the last couple of days and well, we're not without fault either. Um, we don't really have any real big issues or any real main issues at, at all compared to what's going on over there. But uh, I will update you guys in the next couple of days as to what we have to do because of uh, what happened with our fire inspection. How's the Highlander? Sweet. Are they warped yet? No. Okay, good. All right. Got three more stops. Three more stops. Is that your second one? He looked at me like I was going to say no. Jeez. <laughs> Is your second king size Reese's sticks? Are you Kit Kat shaming me? <laughs> no, I'm Reese's shaming you. Oh. I mean, if you're going to hang out in there, you got to help package boxes up. I do. Watch. Working great, buddy. Working great. So being that the order is going through, we've got a request, and uh, this is Chris's. Look at, look at. He already knows. He hates it. I mean, he likes it, but he hates it because he gets so nervous. Chris, buddy, we need you. Somebody wants a hat signed by by all of us. Uh, yeah, I'll be the last one. You'll be the last one. You got prime real estate right now. You sure you don't want to sign now? Well, they do want. They want Zach to sign it too. Oh, great. You want to sign it with the grease on your hands? Yeah. All right. How about I just put my fingerprint on? Hey, you want to practice on my practice hat? Hey, that's, that's Wes. All right, Dave, Chris wants to go last, so we'll let you sign it. All right. Who do I make it out to? Uh, Dave. Okay. 
Does he speak Spanish? Maybe. Because in España, we let you know we're going to yell at you, and then we yell at you. You got to do it for your fans, buddy. What do you... So do I have to, like, be all cool? Like, do you you can do however you want, or you can be all, like, Dave? weird like Dave. You got my signature. That's it. Hey, that's similar to Wes. All right, Chris, you're up, buddy. No, oh, wait. I think Wes, there's nobody else Brian, here. Brian, they all need to sign it. Uh, there's nobody else here to you, buddy. Okay. Later. Right, that's well, Dave's on his uh, third Ow. king-sized Reese stick. Might be fourth. Maybe fourth, okay. Dude, I'm checking out the new shirts, man. Look at that. It's a like, women's uh, shirt, right? It's a nice I'm shirt. In, I mean, my mug is in the truck, you know? It's like liberal tears. Work for it. What are you guys doing, dude? I don't know, man. Cutter, what are you doing? your dog. I don't know. You're the one laying in the corner just enjoying it. All right, guys. Well, uh, you know, I wish we had Dave on the channel more. Apparently, he only comes around when he needs us. All you got to do is pay me. It's not complicated. Man's got to make money. <laughs> All right, so we'll start a uh, Patreon or a, a what is it? A Patreon page. Everybody donate a, a dollar a month. If we get enough money, uh, Dave will be on the channel full time. We don't just want people. Well, I mean, maybe we could sell something, you know? All right, yeah. I'm in. So with that, guys, we're gonna wrap up this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button down that way you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, a get a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out WorkForAppareil.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. Or start a Patreon and beg people for money. I don't know. Dave, you want to wrap up this video and feel free to be as loud as you want because uh, the oil man's getting his ass out of here. <laughs> Levana, what's this say? Order to stop work. Contact the fire department. Application denied. Remove all stainless steel gallon drums. Well, 55 gallon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Must vacate. Woo! Unpermitted construction slash electrical. I mean, I don't wish no badness on anybody, but uh, I mean, like uh, they're not, they're not making oil. <laughs> hey, dog, what's up? Roll that outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.